All right, so this is the armor suit uh, military shield screen cover for the iPad Air. Um, and I'm going to try putting it on here and, and see how it does. Uh, I just opened the package a little bit ago, and it came with um, these installation instructions, which I haven't read yet, but I watched a YouTube video um, by... Armor suit, the official video. Um, comes with this little card that says to watch the video. Uh, products made in USA, which I think is cool. That's good. Uh, comes with this little uh, spray bottle of application spray. It says to shake it uh, before applying it. Then there's a um, uh, lint-free cloth and a little squeegee in there and then the actual shield itself uh, there's a you can kind of see there's a shiny side there and it's applied to a uh, kind of a, a matte or luster uh, backing so um, iPad Air is new uh, basically just uh, had it on enough to get it set up and so minimal uh, Minimal fingerprints and whatnot on the screen, but uh, I do have some on there. And surprisingly, in the video, they said just to clean the screen with the cloth. Uh, didn't say to use any uh, any like alcohol wipes or anything like that. So, and as I'm wiping it here, it actually seems to be doing a good job of getting rid of those fingerprints. It does say to wash your hands well and use a, um, a clean area to do it. So, alright, that looks good. Um, squeegee. Some people were saying in reviews that uh, the squeegee was scratching the cover, which have to look out for that and uh, but it looked like on the online on their video it was saying to spray both sides and maybe that should cut down on on that so just looking for there's a uh, I don't know if you can see it here or not there's a little cutout for the camera up there and then a cutout for the home button here so it also says in the video to spray your fingertips. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, just gonna spray this here. And they showed in the video when they peeled it up part way and they sprayed it again. I don't know if that's to ease with the home button there or what. And Alright, so now I've flipped it over both back. I forgot to spray my fingers. And now I'm squeegeeing out the bubbles here, uh, and it says to uh, squeegee out the bubbles, then check to reposition, and I think maybe squeegee again, and it shifted here, and uh, then it says to let it sit for uh, 12 to 24 hours to let it dry. And apparently, 
uh, if there are any bubbles or streaks in it that they should dissipate over time. Um, some reviews were saying it was taking a week or a couple weeks, but they, they did disappear. Uh, and it seems like about as good as I'm going to get. Looks pretty good. I can't tell if I've got any bubbles in there or not. It's still a little wet on top. Um, I think I was supposed to, now do I soak up any exit? Let's see, after aligning, use the insulation card, push excess moisture to the edges, uh, push away from any open ports on the device, so I probably should have done that. Soak up extra moisture with the cloth. Any bubbles and imperfections will disappear in two to three days. Let your device sit overnight for 12 to 24 hours before turning it back on. Now as I'm wiping it off, I do feel uh, some, I don't know if that's a bubble under there. It feels a little nub or something, like maybe, but it's pretty clean in here. I don't think there's any dirt. So that's, uh, that's about as good as I can get it there. Um, sliding around pretty easy on me. I guess that's one thing to watch out for is as you're drying it off, um, make sure it's staying put or you push it back. But um, we'll see how that does. Uh, we'll check on it in 12 hours, well, tomorrow morning. So.